Hey everyone, it's Susan Kreza, and today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop tutorial on how to make a CD DVD label. So what you're going to want to do is, you just go into new, um, so you're going to want to open up a new file, um, and then you're just going to put in the dimensions of, so width is 12 centimeters and the height is 12 centimeters, you just want to go to that, the pixels an inch, if it's already, if it's not on 300, just adjust it to 300, but it's already that on the default, so we're just going to go ahead and create, click OK. And now you've got this file over there. So what you want to do now is, we'll just set up the guide. So you want to go through, view, and then go new guide. And then you can do either horizontal, you can do the set the horizontal line first, or the vertical line is entirely up to you. We're just going to go set up the vertical, I guess. Or actually, you just do horizontal, just for example. But basically, you just want to do it at six centimeters. So set it as horizontal as six. Press OK, and now you've got your horizontal line over there. And we'll do the same thing for the vertical line. So vertical, six centimeters. Hit OK, and you've got the guides over there. What you want to do now is go to your ellipse. And as you can see, uh, you want to set it about, so you click on, you can either hit hotkey as you, just click on the, the shapes tool over there. And if you don't have it already on there, you just want to make sure you got, never mind that, you just make sure you have your lips tool selected. And uh, you just, uh, what you want to do is, um, hold, so basically, I think this is already at a fixed size. So what you do is just make sure you easily make sure you just got your ellipse adjusted to um, the size of the shape. So as you can see, you got those purple lines. Um, you have to stretch it out until you until it's equally matched. And you can just this is going to be your layer for the CD label. Okay. Um, I like to you can choose whatever color you want, just as long as it doesn't like. Or uh, you can either change the background color to white, or you can change it to whatever color you want, just as long as you know which color is which for what for what layer. All right. So now what we're gonna do is you can either hide this layer or do whatever you want. That's really not gonna matter. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our picture. Got a picture of me at a Photoshop as a graduate. Looks pretty cool. Did the face swap thing and stuff. So yeah, now what you want to do is, you just want to um, right click on the picture you've got, create clip masking, so what that's going to do, that's going to put this image and mask it onto the ellipse, that's why it's called a clipping mask. And um, finally what you do is, you can just do, you're, you're going to want to do the hole that in the middle, right there, so you just go or you can just put it under the background. You can always fix it. I uh, just want to fix it right around, say, around there. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, but just as long as you can see it. And because, yeah, you want to put it just over the top of the picture. And, you know, just make sure you want to adjust it to the right size, you know. And, yeah, as you can see, like, I dragged it. You know, you can see that you have the purple lines just on top of the circle and right next to the blue lines, the guides, and it's taking up the whole picture. That's how you know this is the correct size and dimensions of everything. And, uh, yeah, so now that you've got it like that, so the ellipse over here is the center of the CD. This, of course, is the picture, which over there on the left-hand side, you can see this is a symbol for a clipping mask that we've done the clipping mask already and this is the actual CD of course now you can either merge it all together whoops I meant to say merge it all together merge layers that means um, the CD can be moved around or you can of course you know keep the layers separate it's entirely up to you and you just save it like so you just save it as So let's put it 
put on the document. I mean, you can you call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it uh, test CD. You can save it as a PSD. Um, or you can save it as a PNG. It's up to you. Um, just as long as you can, uh, you know, distinguish like what the file is and everything. You know, it's all good. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This and yeah, here's the result of the CD. As you can see, you know, I got I ticked off the background. You know, I ticked it off over there, so you can see there's no background over there. Um, and you got the CD, the image and everything, and of course, you know, the white circle, it, w it actually helps, That's it's kind of essential that, you know, so you don't get confused or anything, but you can choose to either have the white circle there, or you can just have a hole in the picture, so then there would be a hole in this picture right here, but that's basically a general idea of how to create a CD DVD label on Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you later. Give this video a comment, subscribe, uh, like this video, you know. Um, see you later guys.